Peace, higher powers. This is Chief Savvy Indigenous. This is going to be a remarkable build. And I would like to advise you all to create a playlist with the different series and add the episodes. And they are best listened to in a peaceful environment. Preferably outside with your shoes off, relaxed, or in bed, totally relaxed, or while driving. The time is now. The time is now, higher powers. This segment is called Bird Box, The Revelations. This first part I'm going to call Breakdown, Build Up, Examples, and Applications. When a mysterious force decimates... Alright, so let me go straight in. I'm um, a little bit about the uh, movie Bird Box before I start reading my notes right here. Um... From what I know, it's, I seen the movie, I analyzed it, I broke it down last year. You know, um, I never uploaded it because I wanted to analyze it more. But I knew it was about some kind of end of the world thing. And some of the things I noticed on the movie Bird Box, of course, was the, um, the flat earth map, which was given to her by the black guy. When um, before he died, it was a flat earth map. You see the rings, the ice rings and the... Um, different um spears and etc and then also i noticed that the guy with the red and the green the um the fat guy who who saves i mean who the one that worked at the store that guy he was a he symbolized the moors so we see that the moors are there at the end and then um it was other things i noticed within the movie but this isn't just this is just segment one and um, I'm going to be doing a series and pointing out specifics. And because this has a lot to do with what's going on now in today's society, whether you believe it or not. And I call it Bird Box because I was out here this morning. I call it Bird Box Revelations because I was out here this morning. And like I mentioned before, that you got to be in tune with nature in these day and age more than you're in tune with videos then you're in tune with podcasts then you're in tune with instagram facebook other social medias but and that's why i say that's why i'm recording this in podcasts because i want to gain an audience that are adults enough not to be not to have to find amusement in pictures. Not to have to find amusement in video footage. Not to find amusement. Adults that can listen to a podcast and learn and study or go out and be in nature and listen to the birds as we talk about, etc. Because that's what I do. That's when I write the bills. And like right now, I'm recording the bill and I'm back outside. If I get quiet, you should hear birds. Oh my god, it's an eagle. What the heck? Where an eagle come from? That's crazy. I swear, a big old giant eagle just swooped down from the tree. I swear, when I got silent, I looked him straight in the face. That's crazy. Um, breakdown, build ups, and examples and applications. Okay, look. So, look, some within the movies, it starts off, it says. When a mysterious force decimates the population. Now, right now, we are experiencing a mysterious force. What is this mysterious force? It's the so-called crown virus. Um, It's the crown virus, which I discussed in the podcast yesterday, that is really affecting people's mental. Like, that's why they call it the crown. They're after your crown chakra. They're trying to... They're trying to... um, They've tapped your crown chakra by use of Wi-Fi, 5G, nanoparticles, etc. Um, sonic waves, their sonic weaponry be, um, in use with vibes, vibration, tones, etc. And that's why they want a social distance because together we stand, divided we fall. You get what I'm saying? And fi- the fall is not fall on the ground. The fall is... The fall from the higher self to the lower self, which is the fall of man. Well, anyway, let me keep going. It says when a mysterious force decimates the population, crown virus. Now, only one thing is certain. If you see it, you die. Social distancing. 
You know what I'm saying? Social distancing. If you see other people, they're acting like the people have the virus. Like it, they're they're making it more like when you see people in public right right now, they're scared to be near you. They all have masks on, and you have a mask on, and everybody looks like robbers, and it looks like every person coming. If someone sneezes, it's like, oh my God, we're all infected. Do you get what I'm saying? So um, the only thing certain is if you see it, you die. Now, that's all they know. That's all they know about it. Now, the survivors must now avoid coming face to face with an entity that takes form of their worst fears. Can you close the door, Nancy? I can't have music on my phone. I'll stay. The survivors must now avoid coming face to face with an entity that takes form of their worst fears. Okay. Now, it takes form of their worst fears. Their worst fears are themselves. You know what I'm saying? The physical. What is our worst fears? We scared of each other. That's the whole point of social media. Look, they, media, media, um, if you look at the roots of media, I'm a master etymologist, by the way, um, so I really do my etymology just off the head. But if you look at the roots of media, you see that um, media can... It all has the same root as what? Medium, um, uh, middle, um, um, that's where you get midnight from, midday from. It all comes from the same root that media does. And anyway, it comes from the same root as mediate. So they're actually mediating your socializing. And so now when they social distance you... You don't feel like you're alone because what? You still have social media. You still have your smart smart devices. The devices are smart. <laughs> That's crazy. Devices are smart. Don't they talk about devices in the Bible somewhere? Now, the survivors must now avoid coming face to face with an entity that takes the form of their worst fears. You know what I'm saying? So their worst fears is themselves, humanity. Look what we've done to the world. Look what we've done to the world. We've told this plane up. This spear. This spear. This this plane lit. This plan lit. This little plan lit. Remember I broke down in the bill yesterday that if a chicken has a baby, what do you call it? A, a chicklet. A chick. You know what I'm saying? So when a planet, a planet is a what? A small plane. You know what I'm saying? And we're on an infinite plane. And each sphere is called planets. And people look up. Now look. I'm going to break down some sublime stuff right now. Some real esoteric knowledge. The planets that we see in the sky are actually on the ground. Can I repeat it? The planets that you see in the sky are actually in the ground. On the ground. On an infinite plane. Let me go further into that. The water, the ocean, is blue from chemicals. The water, the ocean, is blue from chemicals. Now, the sky shows blue because it is indeed a reflection of the ocean. The sky gives a reflection of the ocean because the sky is actually a dome. The dome at nighttime doesn't reflect the ocean. And so therefore, when you put your telescope up at nighttime, there's no reflection. Now when you look straight up, now when you look straight up, Wow, that's 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 too deep. I ain't gonna take them there. Now, when you um look towards where you know the so-called planets to be, you see the planets. Why? Because they're being reflected. You see their respective domes being reflected, not off of our immediate dome. See, this is what people fail to realize. There's domes over each plane. Are you with me? I mean, over each planet. Do you hear me? How you powers? Each planet is a small plane, a small sphere, encapsulated in a dome. Are you with me, higher powers? Now, there's a bigger dome. There's an even bigger dome. An infinite dome. 
there's an infinite dome also. So we're actually under two domes. We're not under one dome. They just leak under the dome. So you'll you'll just have the knowledge that you're under a dome. But you're actually under two domes. We're under two domes. All right, now let's get back on. Let's get back on track. And I'm gonna have podcasts about that. Anything I talk about that's off subject, if you don't hear me stating it, um, and it's just a, a add on or a bill, just know I'm gonna do complete podcasts about them and add up add episodes frequently as frequently as possible now moving along searching okay survivors must now avoid coming face to face with an entity that takes the form of their worst fears now searching for hope in a new beginning searching for hope in a new beginning how many of us right now right now how many people that's going to listen to this podcast how many people that's going to see this on youtube are searching for hope in a new beginning right now in this day and age you know what i'm saying we're searching for hope in a new beginning where do we look man we look as far as we can go into the sky we look as deep as we can into the earth we look through the deepest caves, through all the tunnel systems, through all the planes, through all the spears. We look for hope everywhere. Everywhere we look for hope. Seeking, searching. Where do we find hope at? We find hope with the Most High. Where do we find Him at? Right inside. But let me keep on going. In a new beginning, how many people think their life is in the end? Anybody that's listening to this, if you have a family member, a friend, um, anybody you see on the streets, anybody, an enemy, you know, because we should want for our brothers and sisters what we what we want for ourselves. Let me hear you say that. When you say it at home, I'm going to be able to hear you say that. We want for our brothers and sisters what we want for ourselves. So if you, we, we, y'all know the um, add-ons and bills to that. Now, a new beginning. Everyone hears me say that I've been, I've been reincarnated. You know what I'm saying? That I died. That the person that got birthed from my mother died. And it's true. How many people go through the same, sp- the same spiritual, mental, and energetic death? That I have, but they don't understand it. They don't understand it. They don't understand why people can't understand them. They don't understand why people don't love them. They don't understand why people don't talk to them, why people talk down on them or act like they don't know them. They don't they wonder why there's no aid, no assistance, no help, because you no longer belong to those people. Your ties are gone. That life is over. See, we look at lifetimes, we look at we look at lifetimes, right, as zero to the day you die, physically death, that physical death. I even killed the physical. We're even going to talk about a physical death. You can die physically and come back again and live. And it's crazy. This is Easter weekend that we're talking about this, higher powers. It's not crazy. Pre- preordained. And I didn't even have this written down, none of this. This is all freestyle. Only thing I got written down is the points where I stop and read. That, that's what I have written down. Nothing else is written down. I promise how you power. Now, the new beginning is a new life. But I, I'll get back on that later. Let's keep going. Okay, now, here go the characters. A woman and her children embark on a dangerous journey through the woods and down a river to find the one place that may offer sanctuary. Now, Let's break this down. Let's, let's, let's break this down. Now, the woman is a European woman in the movie. Now, all through history, all through modern arts, all through civilization, stories and things of that nature are always going to be reenacted or played out by European type people because when we taught them the craft of all right look check this out they are actors the the Europeans are actually actors 
The people that come of the Aryan. So look, when you say a pure Aryan race, let me build on that for a little bit. When you say a pure Aryan race, you're talking about people that descend straight from the line of the Aryans. It's just like when people say there are more, or you say you're Cherokee, or you say you're Washita, or you say you're Choctaw, or you say you're Asian, or you say you're China, you know, diff- the different countries in Asia, or you say you're African, or you say the different countries in Africa, or you say you're Mexican, or you say the different states in Mexico, etc. Polish, Ger- German, or the different states and countries in Germany. You get what I'm saying? Oh, Germany is a country, pardon itself. But. Okay, it's kept going off and say, dang, I stopped my recording, but it keep going. Now, um, where was I at? Where was I at? Because I don't, okay, okay. I was going to talk about what the Aryans, oh yeah, so the Aryan is a bloodline. We're going to talk a lot about bloodlines, blood ties, and etc. They're going to be individual podcasts, man, but you're going to hear them with, within and without all the podcasts. That's how we rocking, y'all. We, we're going to push this information out. And um, it's only meant for who it's meant for. The rest won't hear it. You know what I'm saying? Add me on um, Instagram, Sable Illuminati. Add me on um, YouTube, um, I am you Indian. That's I A M Y O U Indian. Okay, keep going. They say keep going, Sabi. Okay, okay, keep going, Sabi. Now, so when you can't be racist in this day and age because you don't know the race, unless you come to a real master teacher. Matter of fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna put out a um a race a race podcast. You can't know race. You don't you don't know anything about race to be a racist. You got these mixed breed Europeans walking around talking about they hate niggers, and you got these black folks just thinking they Africans, and black folks saying Africans. You know what I'm saying? And things of that nature. Like you, you gotta wake up. You got Mexicans calling themselves Mexican. You got, you got Mexicans calling themselves Hispanic. I mean, um, um. Latinos, like, come on, Latin, you, you, that's showing your ruler who ruled you. Latin, Spanish don't come from no damn Latin. People think Spanish come from Latin. I hate when people quote that shit. Latin is the, the language of the Romans. So when they say that you're a Latino, they saying that you are owned by the Romans. We know that America is the continuation of the Roman Empire. You know what I'm saying? America is the continuation of the Roman Empire. You know what I'm saying? We got to wake up to that. My bad. I received a call. Hopefully, I can edit that out. Now, a woman and her children embark on a dangerous journey through the woods. And, okay, through the what? Through the woods. Why are they going through the woods? Now, yesterday in the, in my last podcast, um, I talked about. I said I meant I had a question in there for myself. I questioned myself to bring the information out. I said, "How are microwaves dissipated?" And I explained that the trees. I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm busy. Stop calling me, please. Um. I said, how do microwaves dissipate? Microwaves dissipate through the trees. The further, the more trees you have surrounded and the more bodies you have with you, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't have to be a lot. It's just, it's just the more, the better. But yeah, it could just be you by yourself. It could just be you and your mate. It could just be you and your mates with an S. It could be just you, your mates. In your family, it could just be you, your mates, and your children, and your family, and etc. and etc. and so forth <laughs> until infinity and beyond. You know what I'm saying? There's plenty of trees, but anyway, um, that's why she's going through the woods. She's traveling through what the wilderness of North America. Travel through the wilderness of North America. That's what I'm doing. I'm walking with the most high and traveling through the wilderness of North America. 
when you take one step forward. See, we're held back. We're held back because we say, hey, I don't have enough money to do this. Hey, um... No one is supporting me. Hey, I don't have money for this. Hey, how am I going to do this? How am I going to do that? The Most High is going to provide. Ask and you shall receive. The Most High is going to provide. Ask and you shall what? Receive. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. We got to know who the Most High is though. And we're going to get on that on this bill. There's no spookism. There's no spookism to it. It's a literal being. This shit ain't come from nowhere. But anyway, pardon my cussing. But um let me keep let me keep going. Let me keep going. Um so they travel through the wilderness of what? North America. And down a river to find one place. Now we're gonna I in in future bills we'll talk about what river. We're gonna analyze the footage and we're gonna analyze the location of where she was and stuff and we're gonna track that river. Cause we wanna know the actual river. And find the one place that may offer sanctuary. So she said there's only one place that may offer sanctuary. That's deep. That's deep. That's deep. That's deep. And how was it how was how was the call been going out? How was the call going out from the sanctuary? From the sanctuary, the call was going out through what? Podcast. This is the podcast right here. This is the podcast right here. Earlier I mentioned, I say, man, if you got family, friends, enemies, etc., and, 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 and they are at their lowest point, they feel like life is over, but yet you know they still have life in them. You know all they need is a nudge, a push, or a chance. Send them my way. We're going to figure something out because I've been there. I don't care if they're suffering through mental disorders. I don't care if they drug addicts. I don't care who they are or what society labels them. Criminals. No, not no criminals. Not if you're really a criminal. But if society labels you a criminal and you just know you're not. Because society labeled me a criminal. Society labeled me as a drug addict. Society labeled me. As all of those nasty things, they label me black, Negro, color, African American, African, blacky, nigger. That's what society labeled me. So, let's go, let's go, let's go. To make it, they'll have to cover their eyes from the evil that chases them. Now, Ain't that crazy that um, Chief Sabi just say that I'm not dropping no more visual videos. Every now and again, I won't. I will, but most of my information is finna be coming to podcasts and podcast formation because I only deal with adults. Children go off of visuals, and visuals can trick your mind. That's why these YouTube channels have y'all so stuck. That's how they have y'all so stuck. You know what I'm saying? Through the visuals. Through the visuals. Now, it's raining. I don't want to get my phone wet. It's raining. I'm out here doing a rain dance, y'all, with this information. All I did was walk. All I did was walk up and down the street. By, I paced about eight times, and it just started raining out of nowhere. Rain dance. Rain dance. They can call me Rain Man. Now... Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Moving forward. Because we got a lot. Coming up after I do this breakdown of Bird Box, I got the 16 points of entry coming. Yeah, I gave y'all the 20 keys to freedom yesterday. 20 keys of freedom yesterday. Now, today, I got the 16 keys coming. I got six, I mean, 16 points, points of entry. I'm going to get you up in there. Points of entry. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. But first, let me, let me, let me. Okay, okay, I'm out the rain. I'm out the rain. I'm out the rain. Okay, okay. Now, are we almost done with the bird box breakdown? Now, to make it, now, to make it, to make it, let's keep going. They'll have to cover their eyes. Huh? All right, bro. I got to do it in a little bit. To make it, 
They'll have to cover their eyes from the evil that chases them and complete the trip blindfolded. Now, your eyes can be deceived. They give us visuals. We don't look at nature anymore. We don't use our all our senses. There's only one sense. Everything is just touch. There's only one sense in touch. And that's what the symbolism in that blindfold that she's wearing is that because there's only one sense and that's touch. So when you have your your eyes covered up, everything else works perfectly. If they know how to if they know how to create cameras and lenses, binoculars, things like that, they've been studying the eyeball and the human eye for a long, long time. Do you get what I'm saying? So they know how to manipulate the eye. The unseen part of us, the unseen, check out how we fall back into the unseen part of us. The unseen part of us, y'all. Wow, can't be touched. It's something like like um what's his name? What's my boy name? Um J. Cole said it's something that the eyes can't see, that them bras can't touch, that them haters can't be. You get what I'm saying? Never let them see you down. You get what I'm saying? Like that's that's crazy. That's crazy. Now let's keep going. Let's keep going. Um to make it they'll have to cover their eyes from the feet from the evil that chases them. Now, if something is chasing you, think about it, higher powers. If you cover up your eyes because something is chasing you, if you cover up your eyes because something is chasing you, won't it still catch you? Matter of fact, won't it catch you faster? Think about it. If you cover up your eyes, so the only way to stay safe in this day and age is to what? Stay sleep. As long as you don't wake up, you good. As long as you stay blindfolded, you good. You got to complete the trip blindfolded. You got to complete the trip blindfolded. This is crazy. This is this is this is crazy. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's get to the 16 points of entry. Now, this build comes off of that first 25 minute segment that we just ran through. I know it didn't even seem like 25 minutes. And if you made it to this half, you're doing great. Because a matter of fact, I'm gonna cut it into two segments. I'm gonna cut it into two segments, maybe, because that's that's a long time. 27 minutes, I mean it's part in itself. So let's go. 16 points of entry. Point one, nature is natural. Nature is natural. Nature is the natural order of things. When we're living in nature, when we are listening to nature, when we're eating from nature, that is the natural order of things. And you can look in your religious books and it tells you the same thing about the birds, the the bees, the ants, the everything. You know what I'm saying? Everything in nature is provided for. Everything in nature is provided for. Even us. All we have to do is do it. Now, when I say nature, I don't mean savage. I don't mean running around naked in mud huts. I don't mean living an uncivilized life. When I say nature, I mean like on your own land. On your own land with your own people. In your own community. Knowing your surroundings. Knowing your surroundings. When we're living in these fake communities. These cities. These neighborhoods. They call them communities. We are surrounded by enemies. We are constantly surrounded by enemies. Do you get what I'm saying? We're living surrounded. We have no privacy. We have no privacy. Nature is natural. Remember the trees. The trees, I told you yesterday in the last podcast, that trees break down 
microwaves. They break down light spectrums. They break down um, vibes, vibration. Like trees are antennas that spring up from the earth. That's why my hair was green, you all. Before that, my hair was red, you all. You know what I'm saying? Different colors bring in different frequencies of light. Different colors bring in different frequencies of light. Now, now, um, more things about nature. More things about nature. Well, y'all, we'll get back on that again. We'll have a whole podcast about the benefits of living in nature. Okay, now, nature is natural. That's all it means. Living in nature is just means you're with the natural order of things. You get what I'm saying? You're just living with the natural order of things. That's all it means. That's what I mean when I say, how you doing? That's what I mean when I say nature is natural. Now, the the actual going back to living the way that the ancestors did, living in your own community of self, not your community of selfies, not your communities of screenshots of your Facebooks and shit. <laughs> when did the book ever? When did you ever see a book called Face? I read a lot. Um. It's probably a book called Face, but I bet it wasn't about Facebook. Social media, social, social mediating, social engineering, social constructs, soci- socio-political constructs. There's no more socializing. When you socialize, when you when you socialize with people, you build with people, you conversate with real physical beings. It takes away all the lies. That's why so shall lies. It's called so shall lies. The the so shalls the lies. The soul the soul we talked about what the soul is let's keep going let's keep going we 32 minutes in we trying to uh, get it in with less than 20 minutes now the wilderness is where we go back to this is not nature out here this is the wilderness nature is the natural order of things but the wilderness the wilderness is the natural is is nature's natural order before the buildings before the um this concrete which i told you is mixed with metals like copper and other things and it conducts electricity and this is a big power grid we're witnessing this big power grid is pulling in um energy from the ley lines you know what i'm saying now on every continent on every continent remember they say there's seven continents over here and they say that the continents are separated by water. But in all actuality, we're not going to build on that right now and catch my other bills about that. But the wilderness of where we stay is the wilderness of North America. This is point three. Look, nature is natural is point one. The wilderness is point two. The wilderness of North America is point three. You get what I'm saying? Because that's our wilderness. That's our natural state of things. Because if we wanted buildings, see, we had we had pyramids, right? Pyramids or pyre amid or the fire amid the energy source like a battery. That's what pyramids are. Humongous batteries that tap into the ley lines. And we use those things to power our society. Pure, good, non, non eco hurting. Like it didn't hurt the ecosystem to re- use pyramid energy. The the energy we were tapping in straight from the ley lines didn't have radiation. It didn't have. It wasn't. It was. It was pure, filtered, clean energy. Do you get what I'm saying? It was pure, filtered energy. That movie Stargate. That's what it was. Like that energy is so powerful that instead of going into it. 
Have you ever thought about something being so powerful? That's what a portal is. It's so powerful that when you go through it or you touch it or you're hit by it, because remember, portals move too. You got stable portals and you got moving portals. When you're touched by it or hit by it, you when you touch by it or you hit by it, you're transported. It's so powerful it can't even destroy you. Like that's a, like it doesn't even destroy you. Instead, it transports you somewhere else, wherever its source from. It takes you to its source. Like what the hell? Because that's our natural. That's our natural powerful selves that react when you come with when you come into contact with energy that's so strong that it can't be contained and that it is binded and contained in a certain way which portals are and you run in, you run that into another energy source that is so powerful that it can't be bound and yet it is bound in a certain way which is humans only the most high could have bound all this energy in one think about it only a higher power now, whether no matter what name you want to call them, that's just your language. That's how you see God. Every individual is going to see God different. Like, who am I to say the way you see God is wrong? Just Who are you to say the way I see the Most High is wrong? Who am I to try to debate this thing? Who am I to try to say that I'm right and you're wrong? Like, who who am I to do that? Who am I to judge you? I'm here for a, I'm here for a certain amount of people. I'm here for a certain amount of people. I'm here for a specific people, and that specific that specific number of people is already preordained. My tribe is already established. You get what I'm saying? My tribe was already established before I was born. <laughs> Your tribe was already established before you were born. You get what I'm saying, how you follows? Do you? Do you really? <laughs> Dang, I've been building so long. Let me see if I'm staying on point with the points. Now, the lost and found tribes. Okay, okay, now, the wilderness of North America. The wilderness of North America, point three. We just build on the wilderness. Now, who are the people of the wilderness of North America? They are the lost and found tribes. And it's crazy that my natural build, we're going to call it, instead of calling it freestyling or adding on or just building, I'm going to call that my natural build. When I'm doing no notes, that's natural build. The same thing for you all, higher powers. And I want you all to know that. I am not a narcissist. I am an empath. And so I want for my brothers and sisters what I want for myself. I want you to experience the wonderful, like, freedom from stress, freedom from economic stress, freedom from economic uh, worries, freedom from oppression, freedom from surveillance, freedom from GMOs, freedom from homelessness, freedom from pain, from lower emotions. Freedom from loneliness, etc. Free from hurt, grief, etc. All those lower parts of self that shouldn't exist in us. It's a, it's a, it's an imbalance. It's an imbalance. Now let's keep going. Point four, which is culture. You know what I'm saying? And four, point four is the lost and found tribes. And anytime you hear me, um, when I put numbers and I give words, numerical values, I always say four is culture. 2020 is the, what, year of culture. It's time to, what, culture up. We tribed up last year. Shout out to Tribe Up News. That's no kind of, you know what I'm saying? I ain't sleeping on my brother. Shout out Chief Holiday. But I'm saying, like, we we tribed up last year. We we got it on our mind. Now it's time to get our culture up. Let's put the culture up in their face. Wait, wait, what month are we in? April. Let's put the culture up in their face. That's another four. I've been seeing four, four, four all last year. Ain't y'all been seeing it? Ain't y'all been seeing three, 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 two, 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 six, six, six? 
seven 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 one 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 all them ones y'all been seeing that shit just like me y'all see it just like me you go tell your physician you see it what they're gonna do they're gonna say you're cuckoo <laughs> they're gonna say the hive consciousness does not exist they're gonna say the ancestors do not exist they're gonna say extraterrestrials don't exist they're gonna say don't believe your lying eyes they're gonna say don't believe your lying ears don't believe your lying heart. Oh no. They're gonna say be like the idols. Be like the the chosen ones. Be like the American idols, the European idols, the African idols. Be like them. Don't be like yourself. Don't 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 be like natural beings. Don't don't live like the culture tells us. Don't live like indigenous people. Don't live like Indians. Don't live like gods. Don't live like kings. Don't live like queens. Just live like lesser things. Have an inferiority complex. Look at me as superior. You shape your whole society based off of my mind, my image. This is what the European wants us to do. This is what the enemy wants us to do. And I talked a little bit about genetics earlier. And uh, I'm going to get back into it before I end this bill. But I want you to know about the Aryans and things like that. And just know. And I'm, I'm coming out with a eugenics series also. So check out my eugenics series. Now. The lost and found tribes are us. The ones who are always getting labeled. Negro colored, black, African, American, African American. All that BS. Those are the lost and found tribes of the wilderness of North America. And my tribe doesn't, I can't, look, I'm a chief. I'm a chief. And you're, you're chief and chiefesses too. You know what I'm saying? I made a post on Instagram today, this morning, and I was like, letting someone else lead you to a certain destination does not make you a follower. In fact, it makes you a leader. Because a real leader knows that even though you're a leader, you can still take guidance. It's about guiding. When, when It's about guiding. You, it, you don't want followers. That's why they want you to think that people on your Instagram are your followers. Your Facebook friends are your followers. They want you to think the people on Facebook are your friends. Those aren't your friends. They're pretending. Those aren't your friends. It's on Facebook. You just see whatever face they want to put up there. Catfish. Now. So we're the lost and found tribes. And it's the duty of a chief. When a chief is fully awakened in his higher consciousness, it's the duty for him to call in his tribe. And it's the duty for people to hear the call and feel it resonate with them. And they want to learn more and they want to be a part and partial. Or they want to aid and assist or they want to, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's, it's y'all duty to take that step. I don't bite. Us at the LFTOM, we don't bite. We're not mean. We're not rude. We're not. We're civilized people. We're intellectuals. We're master builders. We're the people at the forefront of where... Society needs to be steered. Where the culture needs to go. Now. Everybody wakes up. When people wake up, the fact that they're indigenous or they're aboriginal or they're autogenous, the first thing they do is run to what? The civilized tribes. The AKA savage, but really sit. They're, they're really savage, but they call them the five civilized tribes and, and all the other, what, stolen tribes. And they bring us to point five, the stolen tribes. And those are all the ones I just named. Like, we don't have to cling on. We know we're Cherokee. We know we're Choctaw. We know we're Yamasee. We know we're Gullah. We know we're all these different types of Indians. We, we know who we are. We, we, we know who we are. But we also know that those tribes have been stolen from us. We also know that those tribes are under a form of oppression and se se um, subjugation. 
They were stolen. They're living a stolen identity. They're living a stolen legacy. Our legacy has been stolen from us. That brings me to the next topic. The resurrection and reincarnation. Now, I've kind of built on resurrection and reincarnation earlier as far as like the physical body. Now, I mean as far as like the spiritual aspects, the higher and lower self, etc. But now, I'm going to talk about the resurrection and reincarnation of the lost and found tribes of the wilderness of North America. Starting a hundred years ago, a hundred and seven years ago, build or destroy. That eight, that seven plus one is eight. Build or destroy. What y'all going to do right now in 2020 during this year of culture? Y'all going to build or what? Destroy. See, when an individual wakes up, he has the power to, after he goes through the God degree, which is the seven, it brings us up to the next point, which is going to be God body. <laughs> and I didn't plan these. This is how my downloads come. They just follow along with the mathematics. You got to start walking, talking, breathing mathematics. Now. When a person wakes up after going through that through the one, two, three, four, five, six, and then the seven, he now has the power to build and destroy. That power to build and destroy is seen through woke individuals. You get woke individuals who, instead of enlightening the people, they subjugate the people. They want to rule the people. They want to have dominion over the people. And they don't even have dominion over themselves. And they're destroying the community. They can make a community just to destroy it, to infect it, to misinform it. But the builders, who we are, the master builders at that, higher powers, we are master builders. I am, I am the master builder of this day and age. I am. I am. We speak things into existence. And I am. We take a person who's down at their lowest and build them back up. Build her back up. We built the self-esteem. We built the spirit. We built the, the moral compass. We built the mind. We built the body. Yeah. We go physical and non-physical. Check out the LFTOM. I'm going to be coming out with a website soon. We don't have a website soon, but you can hit me on Instagram at Sable Illuminati or email us at themudtribe at gmail.com. That's themudtribe at gmail.com. And that's mud spelled M-U-H-D. So it's T-H-E-M-U-H-D-T-R-I-B-E at gmail.com. And that's what we're doing. When a master teacher, when a master, when a, when a student is ready, the teacher will appear. Period. If you've made it this far into the podcast, when the student appears, when the student is ready, the master will appear. The master teacher and master teacher is what? I'm a master student first. Master teacher second. You should be a master student first. Master teacher second. That's just the natural order of things. We're just trying to get you back in tune with your nature. These are civilization classes. I'm trying to civilize you. We live in savage, wicked lives and we don't even realize it. No spookism at all. Number seven is God body. God body is about the purification of self. The physical part. See, the God body is the physical part and it's the temple. It's the house. You know you're eating the wrong foods. You know you're eating the wrong foods, man. You know you're overindulging. You're eating too much, man. Come on, man. You know all that high fructose syrup. All those carbs, man. You know what you're doing. All that sugar. All that bleached sugar. All that bleached rice. All them bleached potatoes. You know what you're doing. Girl, you got beans, greens, potatoes, ham, yam, damn. Come on, man. Your body is your temple. You only get one vessel. When that vessel is no good no more, it releases your spirit. And then what? 
Your loved one's going to miss you and you on to another journey. I'm not saying hold on to the physical at all. I'm saying take care of yourself. Your hygiene, your diet, your, 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 your appearance. You are beautiful. We are all beautiful people. Physically and spiritually, we just don't take care of the physical and therefore we think that we're out of shape. You think and therefore it be. You're in shape. You're in shape. You just got to shape it up. Now, let's go. That's the God body. Now, the, the number eight, build and destroy. We've been building, so let's destroy that what? The swine mind. Number eight is the swine mind. So, if you're getting your God body right, you're getting the temple right, the mind is a temple also. That is a temple also. That is a body also. That is a body also. Your brain is a body also. Number nine is change our diet. That's the physical. Nine is born. So we want to go back to the diet we got when we were first born. But I'm going uh, to have a... Um, I'm going to have a podcast called How to Think, I mean, uh, How to Eat and Live. How to Eat and Live. I'm going to keep it basic. I ain't got to start no new things. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. How to Eat to Live. So, that's number nine. Let's go. Number ten is the mental diet. The mental diet. That's how you kill that swine mind. The swine mind is killed by what? Mental dieting. That means getting off of social media for a day or two. That's why that's why that's why Facebook puts you in in time out because you're just doing too much. You know you're doing too much. You doing too much. Take a little break. Take a little 72 hour break. I used to be bad at it. They used to put me in 45 day breaks, 90 day breaks, 30 day breaks. Come on, man. They're treating you like a children. Play right, children, or go in time out. How about you put yourself in a timeout? We don't like to be controlled by others. That's why I'm trying to teach you all how to be kings and queens, chiefs and chiefesses, guys and goddesses, guys and earths, the sun and the moon. I'm trying to wake that shit up. I don't want to be over you. I don't want you. I don't. I don't want to overstand you. I don't want you to understand me. I want you to overstand. I want you to overstand me. I want my teachings, my my enlightenment, my downloads to. Make someone come up. I want for my brothers what I want for myself. Remember, I'm master student first, master teacher second. Over over a million views for something. Over a million views for some odd reason. I got to be talking something right. Over a million views for some reason. I got to be talking something right. Hundreds of thousands of likes. I got to be talking something right. Now, let's go, let's go. Fasting. That's purifying that God body through fasting. Fasting. Then you got your your, your mental diet. Okay, that's mental diet was point 10, fasting point 11, and number point 12 is mental fast. So you got to fast your physical, which is point 11, and you got to fast your mental. And that's what I was talking about. Get away from social media for a little bit. Get away from your favorite episode for a little bit. What the fuck? Somebody just tried to run me over. What the fuck? If I would have had that gun on me, I would have popped him. He was wearing an orange shirt and an orange hat. Tried to run me over, eh? We'll see about that. Now devil is out and about, y'all, seeking whom he may destroy. The devil is out and about. Now, consciousness. People like to use the term woke. People like to use the term conscious. They think they're fully woke. They're fully conscious. They got it all. They know everything. They got it all. They woke. But consciousness is actually... A process. It's an awakening process and it's ever going. It's ever going. 
It's ever going. It's ever moving. It's ever being. Consciousness is 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 collective. There's a there's a conscious collect there's a collective consciousness. There's a connect, there's a collective consciousness. All our minds. That's I call it the hive mind. That's why you see me say indigenous realist hive. You heard me earlier speak about the hive mind. Now, consciousness is also number 13. So the what? That's the one and the three make what? Four. That's the culture again. So our culture is conscious. If we sleep, if we sleep, if our eyes are blindfolded like bird box, that's a lack of consciousness. You're safe if you lack of consciousness. If you want to live a safe life, you want to be safe in life. You know what I'm saying? You want to... uh you know what I'm saying? You want to uh, subjugate yourself and you want to submit yourself to a lesser being, to a human. Just stay asleep. Don't wake up. Don't wake up. Now, after Christ consciousness, we have fallen, uplifting, fallen humanity. And number 16, I'm running out of time, I see. It's turned red, the numbers. So number 15 is uplifting, fallen humanity. And number 16 is... Manifesting destiny. And what I have to say about this is we attain consciousness by being what we call woke. That's consciousness. That's the natural order of things. That's the culture. But you become Christ consciousness when another Christ consciousness has touched you. When you felt that presence on a non-physical realm in the physical realm. That's how you become Christ consciousness. It's past. And it's also in bloodlines. Your bloodline is already Christ consciousness. It just has to be woken up. It has to be activated. Hopefully this is uh, uh, enough to activate it. Maybe it's not. Maybe you may need a physical touch. Maybe you, maybe you need more non-physical. You never know. You never know. Maybe you need more physical. Maybe you need a hug. Wake up that Christ consciousness. Now... Number 15 is uplifting fallen humanity. When we have awakened as Christ consciousness, when we are tapped into that collective Christ consciousness, our duty, our goal, our one duty and goal in life is to wake up, is to uplift fallen humanity. Which is what? Being fruitful and multiplying is one. Because now that you receive Christ consciousness, you got to spread that seed. you got to spread that activated egg and that activated sperm. That's your duty. That's uplifting following humanity. But also uplifting following humanity from the consciousness. This dead state. Exhuming fallen humanity. Exhuming these lost tribes. Exhuming us. Exhuming our people. Waking the people up. That's uplifting following humanity. Helping the people up. Out. Giving them a place to stay. Giving them a place to learn. Giving them information they can use. Giving them a kind word. That's real charity. A kind word. Now. Number 16 and the last point. Is manifesting destiny. We each can manifest our own destiny. Your destiny is to be Christ consciousness. Your destiny is to be fully awakened. Your destiny is to... To be a part and partial in, in uplifting fallen humanity. Your destiny is to be a part of a culture system. Your destiny is culture. You see you made it to 2020, right? You see we building in the month of April. They never thought I would see this month. They never thought you would make it to see it this far. To hear this far. They never thought raw information like this would reach your ears. We got to manifest our destiny in this day and age because that's how this society that we live in, this crooked society we live in, was it was raised by what? Manifesting destiny. These these points, these points, these are power points. This is the real power point coming straight to your mind with no visual. These are power points. You know what I'm saying? These are power points. 16 of them. Straight fire. 16 points of entry. Now, anyway, I'm going higher powers. The maximum time for this segment is 60, 60 minutes. I love you all. It's peace. I'll see you soon, higher powers. Hopefully you got it all. The 16 points of entry is nature is natural, wilderness, the wilderness of North America, the lost and found tribes, the stolen tribes, the resurrection and reincarnation, God body, the swine mind, diet change, mental diet, 
fasting, mental fast, consciousness, Christ consciousness, uplifting fallen humanity, and manifesting destiny. This is your brother, Chief Sabi Indigenous. Come to the culture. Come to the culture. Come to the community itself. Come build with me. Lay down your fishing rod and come be fishermen of men. I'm gone.